an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. There's something out there. Not a theory, not a rumor, but a real object barreling through our solar system at over 200,000 kilometers per hour. Its name is 3i Atlas. Discovered on July 1st, 2025, it's already breaking every rule we thought we understood about the cosmos. Its orbit is wrong. Its light is wrong. And maybe its presence here is no accident at all. The trajectory is very unusual. It's aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. And then it also, the timing of its arrival is very fine-tuned because it comes very close to Jupiter, to Mars, and to Venus. And the chance of that happening is one in 20,000. One in 20,000. Those aren't odds. They're a whisper that maybe we're not as alone as we pretend to be. You see, this isn't our first interstellar visitor. In 2017, there was Oumuamua, a needle-shaped anomaly that accelerated without explanation and vanished. In 2019, Borisov followed, a comet this time, but chemically unlike anything we'd seen before. But now, 3i Atlas has arrived, and it's different. It's triggering debates in observatories, whispers in dark rooms, and one question. What if it's not a comet? It came from Sagittarius, a region dense with stars, dust, and chaos. A direction so crowded, so bright, that objects slipped through unnoticed until it was already here. A whisper of motion against the stars, a blur on the edge of our vision. It wasn't bound to the sun, it wasn't born in this system, and it wasn't following the usual rules. Most comets approach on steep, chaotic inclinations, diving in from above or below the ecliptic like wild arrows. But 3i Atlas, just five degrees off plane. It's nearly coplanar with Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, almost as if it, as if it chose this path. If this is the kind of mystery that pulls you in, now's the moment to subscribe. One in 20,000. That's the statistical probability of an interstellar object aligning so closely with our planetary plane by random chance. But it gets stranger. The sequence of encounters is too precise. First Mars, then Venus, then Jupiter. It's not just visiting, it's surveying. And the timing? Its closest pass to the sun happens when Earth is on the opposite side, hidden, blinded by solar glare. From our perspective, it vanishes at the exact moment when its activity should peak. NASA says it's natural, statistical noise, nothing to see. But deep down, you can feel it. This is not noise, this is signal, an object from another star system moving like a probe, alone. A trajectory that shouldn't exist, but does. It glows brighter than it should, brighter than anything like it. At first glance, 3i Atlas appears cometary. It has a coma, a diffuse halo of gas and dust, spectral signatures of water ice, even a faint tail stretching behind it. But the light, the light is wrong. You see, most comets shine by reflection. Sunlight hits the surface, bounces back, and we catch the echo. That's how we estimate size, by brightness. Under that model, 3i Atlas would need to be colossal, roughly 20 kilometers across, a drifting mountain of ancient ice. But here's where it breaks down. Its brightness profile is unusually steep, almost as if it's more than just reflected light. But newer data from Swift and Webb suggests something else, a volatile rich coma with CO2 dominating the emissions. Not impossible, but highly unusual. What do you think? Could this be natural? Or are we finally seeing something built? Leave your theory in the comments. Still, some wonder if that glow carries more than heat and ice, something older, something intentional. So what could make it glow? Radioactive decay? Possibly, but it would require heavy elements, rare even in deep space. Thermal emission from internal heat? Maybe, but its temperature is too low. There's one other option, artificial illumination, a technology built to drift, built to be seen, but only by those who know what they're looking at. The light is a message, and the surface, coated with dust, and ice, like camouflage, cosmic debris, collected over eons, hiding the machinery beneath. Think of it, a probe wrapped in the silence of space, and maybe watching.
There's a silence in science, a quiet space between what we know and what we dare to consider. Most astronomers still call 3i Atlas a comet. They point to the dust, the ice, the lack of hard evidence, and yet every new observation carves a deeper crack in that story. Its orbital path, calculated, not chaotic. Its tail, angled toward the sun, defying solar radiation. Its materials, untouched by time, older than Earth itself. Spectroscopic scans show ancient water ice mixed with carbon and silicates. Nothing strange until you notice the isotopes. They're off. This ice didn't form here. It formed billions of years ago, under different stars, in a different galaxy perhaps, and still, it shines. The closer we look, the less natural it appears. Avi Loeb still believes we should stay open to radical ideas, that some trajectories, like this one, might hint at more than randomness. Most scientists disagree, but disagreement doesn't erase the question. Because what kind of natural object passes near three planets in sequence while Earth is blocked from watching? What kind of comet travels a path that mimics spacecraft trajectories? And what kind of rock glows like a machine? The timing is perfect. The visibility window, limited. The object, evasive. If it is technology, it's old, cold, and built to survive. A silent sentinel drifting through space, activating briefly as it nears stars, to observe, to record, to vanish. Not a message, not an ambassador, just an eye, watching worlds evolve, cataloging civilizations that never even knew they were seen. And if so, then we weren't meant to intercept it. We were just lucky, or maybe unlucky, because if this is artificial, it means someone sent it, someone capable of building something that endures millions of years, something that doesn't crash, doesn't burn, doesn't announce itself, something that watches and leaves. And the most terrifying part? This one is leaving too. Soon, it will be gone. 3i Atlas will slip behind the sun, vanishing in the glare, invisible, at the very moment it could reveal the most. And when it re-emerges, it will already be on its way out, its brightness fading, its coma dissolving, its spectrum lost to distance, and time will have images, numbers, spectral fingerprints captured by Hubble and Webb. But we may never truly know what we were looking at. A comet? Yes, by some definitions, but comets don't move like this. They don't glow like this. They don't hide like this. Perhaps it was nothing more than a relic, a shard of something ancient, drifting without purpose. Or perhaps it was built, engineered to last, to travel, to watch. Not a threat, not a savior, just something from somewhere else. And it chose a path that kept it hidden, a timing that avoided our eyes, a silence that speaks louder than any signal. It didn't want to be seen, and yet, here we are, staring at it with everything we've built, our best telescopes, our best minds, desperate to understand. Because maybe, in studying it, we're not just learning about 3i Atlas. Maybe we're learning about ourselves, our limits, our assumptions, our place in something much older and far less empty than we thought. If you're still here, still reaching through the dark, subscribe, leave a signal. And if you believe in what we do, consider becoming a member. For now, it's a way to support the channel. Soon, it'll unlock exclusive content because something else may already be on its way. And when it comes, we'll be watching.